Rafid back again with a new video on a video series of CSIR NEET, GRF Earth Sciences and Gate Geology Geophysics. So I am very sorry guys because I don't make a video from a long time. I am very sorry for that. I am very busy in taking classes in my institute. So I am sorry for that. So without wasting a time, let's start. Hope you like it. So the question one is. What is the highest point on a trap? Here we have four options a spill point, a spill plane, culmination and hinge. So here we can see that this highest point is called crest and culmination. So the right answer over here is nothing but a culmination, right? So even this is crest also, both are true. Let's see another thing. Over here we can see that this lowest point is called spill plane and on this spill plane we have a spill point so the line joining spill point is called spill plane okay now in a anticlinal trap the reason where we have economical deposit that reason is called gross pay and the distance between the culmination plane and spill plane is called closer so this is all about structure of anticlinal trap okay so the right answer over here is culmination now moving to the next question reservoir rock of bombay sore so again this is very important as per csir as and gate here we can see that in each deposit either kambe basin assam basin mumbai basin or krishna godavari basin it has three common rocks that is source rock reservoir rock and cap rock and in every year almost every year we have questions from this okay so uh, they will ask you whether the composition of source rock reservoir rock or cap rock at the same time they can also ask the ages of that rock okay so here we can see that the age is more in a case of cap rock sorry this cap rock is formed later right so it will be young always young while this source rock is while this source rock is always older in nature okay so here we can see that in every case this source rock is older see over here in a cambay basin it is early to middle eocene then this reservoir rock that is of mid eocene and finally cap rock that is younger rock okay so in a case if you don't know the age of source reservoir and cap in that case always go for a rock which is younger so that younger rock is cap rock and the older rock will be a source rock now what is a source rock source rock is basically a rock where hydro complex hydrocarbons get converted into simple hydrocarbon once it get converted into simple hydrocarbons it moves or it transported to the reservoir rock and this reservoir rock is protected by a cap rock so here they are asking about bombay sore see in the bombay the reservoir rock is of miocene age and the petrology of this rock is basically limestone calcium carbonate so the right answer will be uh, carbonate okay so a will be the right answer over here okay now you can pause the video and note it down it is very important very very important please go through it okay now moving to the next question in the following which one act as a cap rock so here we can see that uh, okay which one can't act as a cap rock okay now in previous slide we can see that sail is a cap rock over here sail is a uh, cap rock over here and over even this in this case clay is nothing but a, a cell same thing so it can be a cap rock right so which is not a cap rock so gypsum is not a cap rock so this is not possible so over here the right answer is gypsum okay now which of the following type of erosion generated largely gas and little oil and has lower hydrogen to the carbon ratio now if you see this all four types of erosion 
their mackerel component chemical makeup source of mackerels main environments and hydrogen to the carbon ratio if we move towards type 4 the hydrogen to the carbon ratio will decrease right see over here it is from 1.4 to 1.8 and over here we have oil deposits right as we move down this hydrogen to the carbon ratio is getting decreased it becomes 0 0.4 over here now they are asking about little oil and largely gas and hydrogen to the carbon ratio should be less here we can see that the hydrogen to the carbon ratio is less and at the same time gas is largely present over here but little oil is not there it doesn't means oil is not here oil is present and gas is in the larger uh, concentration also and at the same time hydrogen to the carbon ratio is less so we can say that the right answer over here is nothing but type 3 you can note it down remember type 1 has oil deposits type 2 has oil and wet gas deposit and with some oil very little bit of oil and some dry gas is also present over here while this fourth one is inert it it is inert it doesn't have oil as well as coal so this uh, the right answer for this is type 3 now moving to the next question that is question number 5 here we can see that which of the following is most effective seal rock now uh, okay now clay and shale are cap rocks right this is also a cap rock this is what sandstone this is a reservoir rock so uh, this is not possible these all are seal rock or cap rocks now in between them the most uh, important and most effective is evaporites this is very effective a fine grain extremely fine grain and it forms crystal also so this is the right answer over here now moving to the next question which of the following statement is correct regarding the driving force of hydrocarbons so here we can see that a lot of forces are there that can derive uh, force and drive the hydrocarbon thing okay now compaction of sediment is there yes if you compact the sediment water comes out uh, even this hydrocarbon comes out so this is there micro fracturing this micro fracturing again enhance capillary action so it will help uh, the, to the movement of hydrocarbon so the right this is again right capillary pressure no doubt capillary pressure uh, cause movement of uh, water in the upward direction aqua thermal expansion again this is right if you increase the temperature of uh, water or hydrocarbon it will expand so it will again come up osmotic pressure also cause movement of water and buoyancy is nothing but upward force when uh, a body is fully and partially submerged in a water so all of the above is the right answer so d is the right answer over here go with d now moving to the next question when the reservoir pressure is equal to the bubble pressure then the reservoir is so here we can see that uh, different kinds of pressure right one is bubble pressure one is reservoir pressure what is bubble pressure and what is reservoir pressure so this bubble pressure is a pressure in a, a reservoir rock where first bubble is started to come out and this dew pressure is a pressure where last bubble comes out through a heavier one so we can say that if bubbles are coming out of the oil that means there is less volatile material in a hydrocarbon right if less volatile material then viscosity increase no if you remove all the volatile matters from a liquid it is now more viscous in nature okay so viscosity increased beyond the bubble point pressure now there are three different things okay and reservoir classified on the base of pressure it can be undersaturated saturated and oversaturated now in the case of undersaturated this is undersaturated in the terms of gas means if a reservoir is undersaturated that means there is a less amount of gas in it okay so here the reservoir pressure that is r uh, pb sorry pr this reservoir pressure is greater than the bubble point pressure in a saturated it is equal while over here in oversaturated this bubble pressure is greater than reservoir pressure 
okay so over here they are asking about uh, both are equal both are equal means saturated so the right answer over here is nothing but a so mark it it this is saturated now mark the incorrect statement okay so now they are talking about bitumen and kerosene what is a bitumen what is a kerosene so both are hydrocarbons both are hydrocarbon but this kerogen has more molecular weight as compared to bitumen okay and this bitumen can be easily dissolved in a in organic substance or organic substance so the right answer will be c here option number b and c are entirely different they are opposing each other that means one of them is incorrect right just now i said that this bitumen has low molecular weight while kerogen has more but according to option number c bitumen is same as kerogen but high molecular weight it is not possible bitumen is always has low molecular weight remember it so the right answer over here is none other than c okay c now moving to the next question which trap is most important type of a trap as they represent majority of the world's discovered petroleum resource so here we can see that it is as simple as abcd here we can see that this structural traps are 70 to 72 percent right so without wasting a time mark a now question number 11 which of the following statement is correct regarding the commercial petroleum hydrocarbons deposit now here we can see that uh, different numbers of options first one it it should consist of abundant organic matter okay it's true if there is more organic matter then there is more conversion of this complex organic compound into hydrocarbons okay so it is right there should be no chemical activity yeah again it is true under chemical activity it can undergo decomposition so it should be no chemical activity there should be a low energy environment again if energy is more it will come to the surface no so seepage may occur so again it has low energy environment shouldn't be free from scavengers so what is scavengers so it has a trapping mechanism if it get absorbed on any other substance in that case it never form a good hydrocarbon deposit so it should be free from scavenger this is true fifth one there should takes place a quick burial of organic matter okay again it is true quick burial should be there otherwise this whole thing get decomposed by bacteria and in that case it never forms a oil deposit and rapid rate of sedimentation again this is very true uh, to have this in our uh, to have this organic compounds this crude oil we have to have rapid sedimentation otherwise it undergoes decomposition so all of the above is the right answer now moving to the uh, next question we have to uh, mark second stage of hydrocarbon formation okay now this second stage is what what is this the second stage is nothing but a catagenetic stage first one is a diagenetic stage then this is catagenetic stage this is metagenetic stage and this is metamorphic stage here we can see the different colors of each stages okay in original color is yellow in catagenetic stage it becomes orange metagenetic stage the whole crude oil get converted into brown color and in a metamorphic stage it get converted into black color so the right answer over here is nothing but a b so mark it down this is catagenetic this is diagenetic this is metagenetic and the fourth one is metamorphic stage okay now you can see that in a catagenetic stage we have oil as well as wet gas in a metagenetic stage it forms a dry gas while here we have a diagenesis of all the organic compound as well as sediments so that's all about this hydrocarbon formation now dry gas of h2s is called gas devoid of h2s is called so if a gas has no h2s component in that case it is called so here we can see that this uh, this 
gas divided by a 2s is a sweet gas right so sweet gas is this one what is sour gas that means h2s is present over there what is wet gas gas from which liquid hydrocarbons can be derived this is a wet gas and what is dry gas gas from which liquid hydrocarbons can't be derived so uh, this is all about the different kinds of gases and then we have kerogens bitumens what is kerogens it is a chemical compound which is solid and semi solid and this is a complex chemical compound made up of carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen not easily dissolved in organic solvents having high molecular weight we already solved a same type of question previously now what is bitumen this is again a complex chemical composition semi solid to solid made up of carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen but it can be easily dissolved in organic matter and it has low molecular weight so this is all about bitumen over here the right answer will be sweet gas okay so c is the right answer sweet gas now moving to the next question fundamental unit of subsurface occurrence of petroleum is called what so this subsurface occurrence can be broadly divided into three types that is pool water and provinces now what is pool pool is a fundamental unit of subsurface occurrence of petroleum defined as a body of oil gas and water occurring at a particular pressure condition so this is a pool now example uh, in a in a oil field we have different pools different number of pools so suppose there is a province that is cambre basin in cambre basin we have a kalol field and in kalol field um, there is a pool number 12 so this is the fundamental unit of subsurface occurrence of petroleum now what is field so this field consists of more than one oil pool in a same geological structure for example oil pools in same anticlinal trap is called a field so you can say combination of pools form a field and combination of fields more than two is form province so over here this will form province okay now moving to the next question find out the api gravity of a hydrocarbon compound with a specific gravity of 0.5277 at 60 degree fahrenheit now the formula is very very easy uh, all we do is formula of api api is a american petroleum institute now the formula is 141.5141.141.5 by this specific gravity that is 0.527 okay okay minus 131.5 this is the formula just put the value this just put this value over here and these two things 141.5 and 131.5 is the constant value you will get the api this is a formula for api so you have to by heart this values constant values 141.5 minus 131.5 here just put the specific gravity at 16 degree fahrenheit remember it should be 16 degree fahrenheit only okay here we can see that uh, different api's value gives different uh, uh, specific gravity now here we can see that uh, in the previous question this api value is inversely proportional to what specific gravity now what is specific gravity it is the ratio of a density of a substance to the reference liquid we take a reference liquid as a water suppose anything has a specific gravity 4 that means that substance is four times denser than the water okay so it means the higher values will give lower thing right because it is inversely proportional to specific gravity okay now here we can see that this tin goes with this heavy oil so the right answer over here is a crude heavy crude heavy crude is for what this heavy crude is for uh, uh specific gravity tin okay so for each value we have different kinds of oil now the oil bearing rocks in bombay high now bombay high is made up of limestone 
and oil bearing means what here they are talking about reservoir rock and now the reservoir rock is of Miocene age so the right answer will be limestone of Miocene age this is for Bombay now the richness of a petroleum basin in a general is a function of what so if the source rock has more organic compound then it get converted into a crude and then it goes to the reservoir through migration okay now same amount is protected by a trap rock or a cap rock right so if a source has a good amount if it migrates well to the reservoir rock and if this reservoir rock is trapped by a cap rock on its surface then it will form a rich petroleum deposit right so the right answer will be d now moving to the next question which of the oil bearing formation in the digboy oil field now in digboy we have tip pump of which is see please go through this page it is very very important tip pump belongs to assam okay oil bearing means what reservoir rock reservoir rock is of miocene is here it is a tip pump sandstone so the right answer is no doubt the pump sandstone of Miocene age. The pump sandstone of Miocene age because they are asking about oil bearing rock. Oil bearing rock is a reservoir rock. If they ask about uh, source rock in that case it is of oligocene. But here they are asking about oil bearing rock that is a reservoir rock. So the right answer will be Miocene age. Okay. Here you please please go through this very very important. I told you. In various time this is very important remind my words okay so without wasting time now moving to the next question uh, accumulation of oil takes place in a what so it is always takes place in the porous as well as permeable rock both accumulation means what again they are talking about reservoir rock so it should be porous as well as permeable okay Th then only it is economic in nature so the right answer will be B over here. Now which of the following, uh, we already discussed this question. So this is all about the petroleum uh, geology questions. I hope you like it. Please do like, comment and subscribe. And from now only I will try to uh, upload more and more videos. Thank you very much. Hope you like this.